Hey guys, Rick Dunham here, Holy Moly Outdoors. Thank you so much for joining us again today. We are back again for another Test Tank Thursday. It is May 10th and I am so excited because we're changing gears up again. Today we're going to look at the realm of fly fishing and some amazingly effective flies for springtime trout. Trout fishing, since it just opened up for our lowland lakes here in Washington State, we're looking at thousands and thousands of stalker trout being planted. And what's great about these, they're hungry, they are ready to bite, and for someone with a fly rod, there's nothing more fun than catching and releasing a ton of fish. But, what we're going to show you guys today is also an opportunity to target some of the biggest trout of the year as the spring water is really kicking on some good hatches and those big fish are cruising and feeding. So what we're talking about today is four different choices of some flies. I'm more basing it on a basic scale here for some things to try out during the season. What gear wise we're going to run these on so because there are so much stalker trout it all really depends on where you're fishing for um, because there are a lot of lakes that are specialized for the stalker fish there are also some catch and release fly fishing only lakes that do have some trophies so wherever i'm deciding to go whether it's brown trout um, brook trout if i'm going for rainbows cutthroat all that plays into a factor of what gear i'm choosing to use but we'll stick kind of more on that stalker trout to start with and as a result we will pick up a nice little three weight fly rod setup. This is a Cabela's three forks three weight. It is a seven six rod paired up with the Wind River number one three to four weight fly reel. Same with the line. It's a great little setup to have. I love it for the springtime because even those small 10 to 12 inch fish really feel like some good ones. And every once in a while when you get a triploid, then it's some fun. But uh, a nice little three weight like this, it breaks down to three pieces and makes it very easy and convenient to travel. You can put it in a nice little case and uh, you're ready to go. Super easy, very inexpensive. They have some of these in kind of kits that you can buy already pre-done and all you gotta do is just string your line on, thread your leader in, tie your fly, and you're golden. So as far as looking on the lighter side, that's a great way to start. If you're looking to target some bigger fish, um, I would go probably at least a starting point of a five weight rod and then you're looking at you know a nine foot five weight rod like an Orvis or you know there's so many out there, Sage, St. Croix, all are great brands, but a five weight, nine foot is a good starting point. You may even go up to a six weight, depending on what you're throwing. But for the springtime, I like to throw streamers. A lot of, for me, are these um, buggy imitation kind of flies. And so what you're gonna see in this video today really is gonna showcase those buggy flies. And something that's neat about this is I have a really cool product to showcase a way to add a little bit more to your um, action. What we're going to also show guys is that you have the ability to use one of these and add more. So a lot of guys will troll just your normal flies but on conventional gear and that works great. It's really effective. Um, but something I'll showcase to you guys as an alternate option really helps bring out a little bit more action and can draw more strikes. What we're going to talk about there is the wiggle fin action disc and I have this in the newer version size 1 and the original size 1. So we're going to showcase to you guys a little bit what those actions do and in part it's going to be a lot of fun to showcase but uh, you want to see now what flies we got. We're going to kind of look at, I said four categories. All of these being attractor flies, I love streamer fishing. I love the, the feel of that fish grab and take. So we're going with the first fly here to be more or less, it's a style like a woolly bugger, but I tie it to be more like a dragonfly nymph. Has a small profile, have a bead on the head of it, some flash tied in, 
Palmer and Marabou really breathes well in the water, gives some great action. The olive is a great color to start with and really does well. Then we bump it up to something with a little bit more meat because in the spring you figure out and find that these trout are really looking for some easy meals but high in protein. So one of those things that comes out a lot in the spring are leeches. And a great leech imitation is just your normal woolly bugger. The woolly bugger is a staple for trout fishing. Really, really does well. Fun to strip in. That tail has a lot of movement and those fish key in on that. So we got a nymph type imitation, a leech type imitation, which could also be with the woolly bugger, a bait fish. Then we move to three and the third category is going to be a bait fish imitation. You'll find that a lot in the spring the bait fish are out. Small little fingerlings have hatched from the spawn or you have just your minnows in the shallows and as a result big hungry trout are on the prowl and these make great little snacks for them. Really really like these and in fact this fly in particular that I tied up has done really, really well at one of my lakes. Absolutely love it. And something on the fourth category adds a hefty, nice little meal for a fish. We're looking and talking about a protein snack powered crawdad. So a crayfish, where they're available for trout, is really going to be something that can find our giant fish. So this fly worked close to the bottom, whether in a stream or in a lake, you will be able to find some of the biggest fish to chomp down on that thing. And this is going to be some killer action. So let's go take this to the test tank, showcase to you guys not only just the fly itself, but we'll throw in the wiggle disc and showcase what it really looks like with some different action. Stay tuned. All right, guys, and so there is our little damselfly slash woolly bugger nymph. Really looks good. Streamline profile. And like I said, I grabbed that bobber stop there to showcase the wiggle fin disc next. This is a little bit of a sinking fly, so it fishes well just on the surface with an intermediate line if you would like you could do floating line too or you can work a sink tip or a little bit full sink line and uh, really get down if the fish are deeper but a great fly to be using all right and here is the wiggle fin disc in front of our same fly it almost gives it a little bit of a crankbait like action which really draws strikes from fish that follow. So if you like to troll flies on a spinning rod, this is a great way to get some bites. All right, and there's our woolly bugger leech there. A really nice representation of that movement in the water. Really responds well with the marabou and really because of the way the profile is, you can imitate a few different things that could imitate a crawfish, that could imitate a bait fish. It's a very, very versatile and probably the number one fly to have in your tackle box for fly fishing just because of its versatility. So I always, always have one of my woolly buggers in my box. All right, and with that new style wiggle fin disc on front you can see that crankbait style action being imparted to that marabou and really really looks good and it almost gives a skip beat there that those trout following it will not be able to resist it is a killer way to really put some nice fish in the boat definitely looks good and for our bait fish imitation, this springtime look is going to be just absolutely perfect. 
as you have baby bass hatching, our chub minnows are up in the shallows. These big old trout are really going to be on the feed. And what you'll find, this will catch darker trout too, but you'll find our larger fish, generally 15 inches or more, are feeding on minnows and bait. So this is a great imitation for that. This is a fun way to really get some big fish to come to the boat. Streamer fishing in the spring is really a blast. So love this fly. Turns out awesome. It's a fish killer. And there again is the wiggle fin disc. Some skip bead action thrown in there. Looks like a fleeing dying bait fish. These discs are a great thing to have in your box because they work on a multitude of different rigs. Last but surely not least you have our crayfish or crawdad pattern. This is a great way to get one of the biggest fish in the lake or river when you're fishing one of these protein packed imitations like a crayfish. Trout will gobble these up at the opportunity and they absolutely are a must to have one or so in your box just because you never know but you see with these last two a definite trophy sized trout baits and to really attract your bigger fish there's a little wiggle fin action on the crawdad to give it just a little bit of movement for trolling if you choose to do so Alright guys, so I really hope you liked what you saw there, showcasing those trout flies. And I really have to say, on a basic level, trout fishing on a fly rod, you do not to be needing any complexity. It can be as simple as you want it to be, and because of that way, you can really get into it on an easy way for a beginner. Like I said, there are kits that you can get out there that have everything all set up really makes the process easy to get into and the springtime like this is the perfect time to get yourself out there and break it in because a lot of these fish are eager on the bite up in the five to ten feet surface wear of the water column making it very easy to target with the types of flies that I showcased to you so I really think if you look back at what we did in the showcasing you had four different styles one is more of a very specific buggy imitation to a smaller profile. I believe that uh, Dragonfly Nymph slash Small Wooly Bugger here in the olive color is a size 10. Makes for a really nice fly on those small fish. Then we bumped it up to a black woolly bugger leech imitation which I believe is on a size 6 perfect style for the springtime then we have our minnow pattern which really I believe excels when you start targeting fish that are outside that stalker range um, this one I look at for Lakes to have bait fish present. It's a very good imitator. And then lastly, of course, big fish love a big meal. And you can imitate that with a nice little crayfish. But that's it, guys. A lot of fun. I love fly fishing. Grew up in it. And so when I get the chance to get out the fly rod, it's a blast. If you want to go target these stalker fish, three weight fly rod. If you want to go target some trophy size fish, five to six weight. I can link some of the stuff below that I like to use. Um, but uh, that's really it. So thanks so much for watching. Thanks so much for staying tuned. If you like this type of video, give me a thumbs up. I'm going to keep linking some of my other fly fishing stuff above to give you guys an idea of how I do some of this fishing. Um, and then... If you guys want to see more types of stuff in the test tank, please let me know. Send me a comment below. I'll take a look at them. 
I read everything and it really appreciate all that you guys do for for us. I mean, this is why we're here to help showcase to you guys simple ways to catch more fish. But I know after doing one of the polls that we had on our Facebook page, you guys want to see more fishing action videos. I know it's been a lot of how to, a lot of in the test tank videos. So I think we're going to start venturing outside now that the weather's getting a little better and showcase to you guys a little what we're talking about. So stay tuned. Thanks so much. And we'll catch you on the water. Take care, guys. Fish on!